do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get enough. And every time I step up in the building, everybody hands go up. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Just let liaise with me. Just let, let me know what your thoughts are and we'll just go from there. Okay, um, we up from payment for the first order. Um, there, you know, just to just to build up a relationship. And then thereafter, we can put you on a thirty day. Yeah, if you want to pay everything up front, that's good for me. I wish everyone would. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know exactly, exactly. We can usually get it within a couple of hours to you. So we can we can take it over the phone by credit card. Once that's once we've taken that um, authorization, we'll put it in production. It's usually out within a couple of hours. Same day, either way. No problem at all, Dave. Brilliant. Take care. Bye. Very exciting. Who are we interviewing? Drayton Bird. Starts of the largest UK direct marketing agency. Totally sold it. It's basically the app world guru direct marketing copywriting. And we're going to be with them in an hour. Traveling light. <laughs> Right, Drayton loves wine. I think he loves a, a German Riesling. I think that's how you pronounce it, Riesling. So, let's give him a couple of bottles of that. Oh, we're off. S.H. Jones, great, great wine shop. business in general if you if you if you're a complete idiot I'm not even idiot I'm trying to refrain from swearing for the camera if, if you act like an arrogant cock it's nothing's gonna go well for you business is hard right don't think that it's easy you sometimes you might have a, like things are going fantastically well for us now um, and you know orders are coming in like we're like we're a high street shop and we sell data. So it's a great achievement that we're, we're getting to that stage and hiring more salespeople. That's all fantastic. And do to others, what's the word, or how, do, how to properly say it, as the Bible says, but you do to others as you'd want someone to do to you. <laughs> I don't know what the, do you know what it is? Quoting the Bible. Yeah. <laughs> so many people I meet, and some of you might be watching this and might be thinking, yeah, I'm a bit like that come across as so arrogant and all I've done since being in business is not be that and maybe that's why out of 50 people someone like Drayton is sitting having a beer with James and I at the end yeah. and not with those other 50 because we're generally nice people, we generally want to learn from him and I think he appreciates that honesty and that he could actually maybe in a way kind of mentor this all sounds really negative but at the same time you know these videos all the videos i do aren't about yeah everything's great go and buy yourself a big audi q7 or whatever it's at the same time all the shit that comes with it because i honestly don't feel that many people out there like the shit to deal with it and it can deal with it well and i think that's the the biggest key to how you how you keep creating your business to go up month and month and month and year on year is by dealing with a lot of shit, working really hard and just generally getting there. So, there's some negatives, but the positives are great. The thing I did heavy crossfit last night, I can hardly walk. <laughs> Kills my legs. Come four o'clock, I'll literally be like, rolling out of the car. <laughs> Got a 
to keep healthy this protein chicken skewers Bloody doors are Yeah, I know. I thought it would give you some exercise. Have you bought This is Alicia. Hi. Hi Alicia. Are you the crew? I am. My crew. <laughs> <laughs> Floating from LA. <laughs> How are you doing? Okay. I've got lo I've got stuff to bring out the car. Jesus Life. Christ. We're going. I do it all with a bloody. No, no, no. You want to see what we've got going on? <laughs> Once I've done that, can I park down this road? So it says permit holders only. Yeah, I think you get. Um, it says they'll permit holders only 9 till they'll 5. They'll probably take your car away, blow it up, chop it into little bits. I, don't, I think you do have yeah. You don't drive, so you, you have no I don't to drive, do but, but it is a real problem. Now that, you know, when we when we met, obviously you can see now, I've put into practice what you said. And we did a webinar two weeks ago on what I find successful now bringing your copywriting, bringing the type of data I sell to, bringing in the, how I deal with the incoming leads. Because it's not just your lead coming and going, oh, hi, help me. If you're then a load of crap, you're not going to win that business. Um, and we send that out to our clients and prospects. And we had 26 people register, 26, 20 people join the webinar and watch it throughout to the end. Even though we had quite bad broadband, they all stayed to the end. I must have had since then seven hours worth of conversations with these business owners on how and the weird thing that has come from it which Alicia and I were discussing here is that I have like my mentors you know I watch your stuff with in awe of the answers I might get from it think like how do you get away with this shit right now think stuff like that yeah mm. and been doing it for years people actually start seeing you as an expert like from when well from one webinar People see now see me as an expert, so you kind of think just just go off her. And the videos that we're doing on YouTube, we've got a guy who's going to start doing our videos following me. So I, I've sort of thought of something where I haven't found true success wherever success stops. You know, things are going well, and to a lot of people that I speak to, they're like, I just want my business to be where your business is. Yeah, I want my business to be where other people's businesses are. So that I, whatever seeding success has got. And I went in there, and there was a note from Richard Ramson apologising for the inconvenient article. He does seem to run them well, doesn't he? Apparently the staff love him, and he rewards everyone. He's very charming. He's a, he's a lying fucker, of course. I mean, he's not worth all the money he says he is. And he's, a, he's also money mad. I mean, he charges people to go and meet him at his bloody island. So a lot of these internet frauds, American internet frauds who tell you, who make their money by telling you how to make money. Mm. They, um, they go and meet him and send out as well. Oh, I've spent three hours playing tennis with Richard Branson. Well, they paid 25,000 pound do it. Yeah, I've met several of them. I remember I was speaking in Washington years ago and this guy was saying, oh, you know, how do you fancy coming to meet Richard? And I was like, fuck off. <laughs> And it would have just been like that as well. <laughs> and he would have gone, oh, okay. <laughs> when I was young, um, young, middle-aged, uh, they used to call me Drake the fucking bird. <laughs> this is a, a description of my language, not my activity. <laughs> yeah. In other words, I can say, I think it, it, it pays to be nice to your people. Very true, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much, Drayton. Pleasure. Um, Learn a lot, as usual. Just listening. Love it. Um, I hope to do it again in the future. I've got more questions from clients. But no, brilliant. Thank you very much. No, pleasure.